My lord, you are now able to unlock the powerful storm hall. Wow, okay. That's a cool little particle pointer effect. Wow, that looks cool. The memory of your fallen brothers at arms still protects your castle. Upgrade the storm hall to unlock high level storm elementals. Why is castle capitalized? Alright, let's unlock this hall. That gave me an ample amount of power. Nice. Let's see how these troops look. Oh my god, they're animated! <laughs> wow, baby. This is so cool. It looks like there are two animations that the elementals make. My phone isn't that great for recording, but I'll show them all on screen for each warrior. Are these animated? Nope, you're still boring. All storm elementals have the same abilities. Storm Blast, great for initial attack damage, defense, and HP. Rebound, while defending against an attack, 5% of damage to storm elementals will be rebounded back at the attacker's rebound damage cannot exceed total storm elemental HP or 20% of the attacker's HP. Overrun during an attack, storm elementals damage will overrun the primary defensive unit and spread an additional 5% of the total attack among the remaining enemy units. This damage is unaffected by the unit's defense. Rebound and overrun both seem complicated. Rebound is obviously for defense, there's a cap for how much it can do, it can only reduce 20% of an attacker's HP. Overrun, on the other hand, seems really cool. I suppose it applies a kind of piercing damage to defenders. In my interpretation, the elementals will skip over the ones that are nearest the battle, like infantry, and attack the ones that are furthest from the battle. Then, the defense modifier is ignored, so the elementals really do that 5% damage. There are 6 levels of storm elementals, starting at 5 and ending at 10. They eat 0.5 food above their level. The level 10 troops consume only 0.5 grain, whereas the storm elementals eat 0.55. Annoying, but they seem pretty powerful. You summon them with immortal power, which you get when your troops die, so let's go out and kill some troops. But, Mummy, why does Daddy have to go and fight? Don't worry, son. Our king makes sure that all of them will come back. Yes, that is exactly what I am doing. I am not purposely putting them in danger in the hopes that I can harvest their souls from their dead bodies and later sacrifice them to an eternal binding to the material world so that they can work for all of eternity as my storm soul slaves. Okay. Well, let's go to the map to send out our troops on a suicide mission. What is that? What is that? Well, I had to change my flag because I wanted purple, not whatever this aquamarine thing is. I'm not sure if I completely like the flag change, but I'll surely get used to it over time. Alliance UI overall got a change, it's blue now. Research is now shown at the top, I really like that. For members, there's a little fitting animation too, uh, I like that. My favorite addition to the alliances is the ability to edit some permissions. Now the spy R1s can't see where everyone is. Over time, I'll be able to figure out who my spies are. Why is that little sparkly thing in the corner? Oh, it's the premium VIP store. With a misleading name, the VIP store has nothing to do with VIP points. Instead, you get these recharge points whenever you use actual money. 100 points is equal to 1 USD dollar. In my humble opinion, this store freaking sucks. Instead of making me want to spend more, I feel more hopeless. The thing that I like most about Rise of Kings is that it was hard to win by paying. It is a pay to win game, but not enough to make it hopeless for people who don't pay as much, like me, to get to positions of relative power. With this store, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. It makes people who pay only a little money feel bad. And if your game makes them feel bad, you will lose players. Players will either turn to your competitors' games, or, I don't know, Candy Crush. The point is, I'm not a fan of this, and I'm sure that others won't be either. I hope that this business model works out for 1MT, but if it doesn't, just know you can always revert back. There are also these mercenary forces here, not sure what they do, but I think they're new. There's also new research. I was saddened that they turned it into a pentagon shape. I want there to be something in the center. Maybe it's reserved for, I don't know, dragon research. There's thunderclap, which increases the summoning speed. Storm training, which increases amount of elementals you can train at a time. Storm blade, boost, and shield, which increase attack, HP, and defense. Lightning rod, which makes your immortal power less rare. Storm chaser, which increases the amount of immortal power you can get in a day. And yes, there is a limit. It's 60,000. Also, here's the Excel sheet for the Storm Hall while I'm at it. Hey! Alright, let's get some of these cool elemental troops. These ARB guys have arrow towers that can kill off my troops. They're all inactive anyways. 
It looks like for level 4 troops, you get a ratio of about 4 dead to 1 immortal power. For level 5 troops, it's 3.125 for 1 immortal power. I didn't try level 6, but just acknowledge that the higher level troop that you lose, the more souls that you get. I was only able to train 6 to the lowest level, his immortal powers are quite expensive. I'm sure I'll get enough next KE. The training animation is pretty cool though. This is what it looks like when the troops have finished training. One more thing I'd like to show. The notification is green instead of red when you get resources. I assume it's the same for reinforcements. Some extra things that I didn't mention. You can see the remaining time of your shield spell when you click your castle. Resources to heal troops are halved. There is a new king's pack for throne. The bag gets a new look. There is an ice dargon castle theme. This is what it looks like, I guess. I generally don't spend money on castle themes. I would buy it if it was permanent, but if it's only for a week, no thank you. That's it for update 1.1.8. Pretty cool. I rate 7 out of 8. Still not a fan of the VIP hall. Daddy! Daddy, why did you have to die, Daddy? Son. son. I'm here, son. 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 Daddy! Daddy, you look different. Play ball with me, Daddy. I, I can't. Why not, Daddy? Why can't you play ball with me? I'm not allowed to. All right, all right, that's enough. Back to your post. Daddy! Back to your post. No, now. No. Now. Back, son. Now. Daddy. Well, ROK gets better every day. Remember to subscribe.